Hello and welcome to the sixth OpenGL screencast where we're finally getting into doing some 3D. We're going to be looking at GLED objects this time and shortly later we'll be looking at quadrics and then making your own 3D objects. Um, so far up here we have some global state variables that we'll be using, uh, whether we have the axis on as well as the display values on. Our viewing angle, both azimuth and elevation, um, which we'll be using when we're rotating our 3D as well as which object we're going to be display and we have some slice and stacks that you can play around with later. So we'll walk around a few methods here that I've already have to find here. First we have draw axis which we just basically check if the axis is on and then we do a geo color. Lines which is all very familiar to you and we're drawing a 3D space so now instead of doing uh, two numbers here we'll actually have three and we're saying from 0 to 2 is one line, and then from 0 to 2 is another, and 0 to 2 is another, um, based on the x, y, and z. Then we end that, and then we say, okay, and then we're going to label these x, y, and z. We take that point, which is uh, 2, 0, 0, and print x, 3, 0, 3, 0, or 0, 2, 0, and print y, 0, 0, 2, and print z. These GL roster post 3D are just like the print function that we came up with earlier, the print at, but rather than taking a two-dimensional um, area, we're taking three dimensions. Draw values does that same thing, that print at. So we're also going to go ahead and check if the toggle value is on, and if it's on, we're going to draw at the two-dimensional point five five, and then say what the viewing angle is and drawing shape this is going to be the ultimate draw shape function we'll come back to that display is going to be all the same we have a geo rotated which is going to set our viewing angle i haven't really got into translation rotation and scaling yet we'll come back to those but just for now know that this works well uh, we're going to call those axis va and va uh, values reshape is all the same note i'm saying the orthogonal projection here um, that's the same as before, but later on we're going to be taking a look at that versus perspective. Window key, uh, we're checking A or V to talk, toggle uh, axis or values on. Spacebar is actually going to rotate us through each of our objects. Right now we're not going to draw those, but you'll see that soon. Uh, window special here, we're checking right, left, up, and down on the keys, and we're going to Go ahead and change our elevation or azimuth by 5 degrees, depending on what we're doing. We'll clamp those to plus or minus 360 degrees. We display that. Window menu, this is something I didn't cover last one, but I should have. Um, in this particular example, we're just going to recast it into window key um, above. If we come down here to the main function, you can see uh, this create menu. So it's going to be the callback. And then on that menu, we're going to say, okay, toggle axis as um, A, and then attach that to the right button. So if we make this real quick, um, and I do a right click, you can see the toggle axis, and that turns on and off the axis. I can also press A and press V to turn on and off values or axis. If I'm doing the uh, arrow keys, you can see. And changing the view angle of each of those things. So that's pretty much uh, setting it up to draw in 3D here. Now let's actually do some glut shapes and do something a little more interesting than nothing. So I have this already commented in. Just trying to save some time. And we'll just kind of walk down this sort of block. Okay, we're going to define a color of yellow right now to make it different from the axis. We define object zero to be nothing. Um, and let's go through each of these real quick. Uh, there are 18 shapes total. We have wire spheres and solid spheres. Um, we have wire cubes, which is the size solid cube, cones, torus, icosahedrons, octahedrons, tetrahedrons, dodecahedrons, and finally the Utah teapot, which is the most famous uh, 3D object there is. Um, note, only the teapot is actually going to generate normals and texture coordinates. Now, this isn't important right now, but later on in the line, you're going to realize that you're not going to really be using these GLUT objects a whole lot um, 
for anything other than just maybe throwing something in there temporarily. You're going to be using your own objects where you're going to be generating your own normals and your own textures. So that's pretty much the entire screencast. Let me go ahead and make that again with these different shapes and you can just take a look at how they are. So let's turn out uh, axis on and get a different viewing angle here and so Maybe if I did draw shape here too, that would not work. Okay, so let's try that one time. There we go. So, as you can see, that's the wire sphere. The solid sphere is not very exciting. The cube uh, cone and the angle on it is kind of interesting if you take a look at how it's drawn. So, you know, it's pretty interesting. Um, solid cone, torus. So torus looks kind of interesting. It's like a donut. Um, and we get into the different hedrons, which are basically like dice, different types of dice. Um, as you can see, all sorts of various ones. Finally, the Utah teapot, which is currently also known. And you can see all the different points and vertices on that uh, all over. Um, it's very detailed and it's a very well-known object in 3D. I think it's in most if not all of the Pixar movies, so you can go ahead and look for those if you like. So, like I said, new things here, just toggling values, rotating uh, based off TH or PH, um, creating that menu, Going back to this, uh, we'll just explain it really briefly since I didn't really get into it. So this just uh, takes the pH value and rotates it around the X axis. And it takes the TH value, which is the elevation, and rotates it around the Y axis. And that's really all it does. And um, since it's a state machine, these are both affected before these are drawn, which is why we can draw the axis, and the axis is rotate with it as well as the objects. So. That's pretty much the entire screencast. Uh, I hope this is helpful to you. And later on, like I said, we're going to get to some quadrics as well as learning about perspective and drawing your own objects. Take it easy.